Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the workshop. We've got another little weapon we're going to build today made out of office supplies. Today's little weapon is a slingshot made from pencils and binder clips with a little bit of tape, a rubber band, and the lid from a water bottle. There's lots of options for ammunition, but we're going to be going with miniature marshmallows because they are very good at not breaking things and not hurting people. To start, let's get two of our pencils and four of our small binder clips. First, let's take one of our little binder clips and attach it onto each pencil about three quarters of the way down. Then we want to take our two binder clips and have them face each other so that the swing arms overlap. With another binder clip, fit it over two of the swing arms on one side. Flip it over and use the fourth binder clip to bind the other two swing arms going from the top rather than the bottom. These binder clips will hold the pencils at a fixed width apart from each other so they won't move in and out as we use them as a slingshot. However, we do now want to pinch the bottoms of the pencils down together so they meet at a point. Now let's use a small piece of tape wrapped around the bottom of the pencils so the tops of the pencils won't push back together as we use our slingshot. Let's set this assembly aside for a moment and grab the lid to the water bottle. We won't need the rest of the bottle for this project. Now using a razor blade or small knife, we want to cut two slits into the side of our bottle lid. One right about here and the other one directly across from it. Now we need to grab one of our rubber bands and this is going to work a lot better if we have one of the wider type of rubber band. Cut the rubber band in one spot so you just have a rubber strip. We now want to thread our rubber band through these two slots that we've cut in the lid. But because we don't want the rubber band to be interfering with our ammunition, we want the rubber band to go in on one side, wrap around behind the back of the lid, and then in through the other side. If you need to, adjust the rubber band so that it's equal lengths on both sides. This lid is going to be the cup that holds our marshmallow ammunition for our slingshot. Now we need to attach it to our slingshot frame that we already have built. Let's grab two more binder clips and use those to hold it in place. We can wrap the rubber band around a little bit of the pencil just below the metal collar and then use another binder clip to secure that in place. And we do the same thing on the other side. With those binder clips holding the rubber bands in place, we should have a functional slingshot. Let's give it a try with a mini marshmallow. Not bad. But I think we need something to shoot it at as well. We don't just want to be shooting these around willy-nilly. Well, maybe we do. We can shoot people like our cameraman or whoever else happens to be in the room. But it can also be a lot of fun to set up a little target. So let's look at how to build a little target for ourselves. We're going to be using a lot of the same supplies. We've got a lot more pencils. We've got a little bit more tape. And we have some of this foam core board. We've printed out the King of Random logo. Now we'll cut this out, attach it to a piece of our foam core board, and then cut it out of there. Let's grab six more of our pencils and a little bit more of our tape to build a stand that can hold up our King of Random target. We'll start by making two supports in sort of an A-frame shape. Let's use one of our pencils to connect these two A-frames together. Our frame is looking pretty good. It holds itself up nicely. It's just held together with a few strips of tape. You also may notice that all of these pencils currently have their points angled up, which means that we have four erasers down on the table. That gives a nice little bit of stability. But it still has a little bit of sideways play, so let's take our last pencil and use that as a structural support down closer to the bottom. Our little stand is now pretty strong and stays in place fairly well. Of course, if you wanted to, you could always add even more supports. Our pack of pencils came in a group of 12, I think, for about a dollar. And so if I wanted, I could put more supports on the side, another cross piece right here. There's all sorts of options, but I think for now, we have a stand that's gonna hold up pretty well. We now wanna take one more of our binder clips and clip it sideways right in the middle of our top cross piece. This is going to be our hinge mechanism for our target. We should be able to balance this swing arm in just the right spot so that when we hit our target, it falls down and we have a clear indication of whether or not we hit. Let's grab a final piece of tape and use it to attach our swing arm onto our target triangle. We now have a target that we can lift up into place and with just a gentle tap, 
it falls all the way down. So even a marshmallow launched out of our slingshot should be able to activate it. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> shot. Give it a shot. Oh man. As always, I'm a very good shot with these things. Ha! Second try, not bad. That fell down perfectly. The marshmallow hit it, boom! Falls right down. It works great. Let's do it again. Ha! Perfect shot. Yeah, it just, it touches it. Doesn't matter if it hits it very hard or not, although that was a pretty solid hit. Just falls right back down and it goes down easily enough that the rest of the stand doesn't move from the impact. It works really well. With just a few pencils, binder clips, and some tape, we've made a functional slingshot and a reusable carnival style target. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to watch it again, just click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.